Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Right, tonight, I'm going to be leaving somewhere a little bit different, a little bit out, out of my comfort zone, to be honest with you. Uh, it's going to be a stealth camp. Now, stealth camping don't really appeal to me, but, I, well, I hear you ask, so why am I doing it then? Well, the reason I'm doing it is because purely, it's just curiosity, that's all. Purely out of curiosity. Uh, just want to see what the crack's about. So, I found a, a place. I found a place. As you can see, it's just at the back of me. Hopefully, I don't know if you can see in that corner over there. I'm going to try and set up there if I can. It looks quite good over there. Now, there's nobody about. I should be able to sneak on the. Uh, how is anyone seeing me? It is like an it's like an industrial estate. Um, so that's gonna that's not gonna be easy, right? Right. I was hoping to climb over this bit, but. There's a big fence here, as you can see, and I don't think I'm going to be able to get across this little bit of a swampy area. Oh, that's, so that's that's gone out the window. I spot it that, so I think I'm going to have to go the other way, maybe up in this direction and around over that way. Hopefully, fingers crossed. So here it goes. Let's see how it goes now. I'm just hoping it'll go all right. This Come on, I'm a little pretty nervous about this. So, uh, it's, it's well out of my comfort zone, to be honest with you. But I'll give it a go. <laughs> See what it's about. Fingers crossed, I can find a way somewhere to climb over. in that direction. Oh, that corner somewhere, hopefully. That's my target. And so, if nobody sees me, they're going to think, oh, they, they must be bloody homeless or something. <laughs> anyway. Anyway guys, I'll bring you back later when I've uh, found a way in and uh, hopefully, hopefully I can find a way in. Now, looks like this is the way over. It's looking a little, little bit awkward. I've got to get my burger over first. Um, I can't go over this bit because if I go over that bit, I've got this ditch to contend with. This uh, looks a bit swampy down there, so what I'm going to do, I'll climb over this bit and then quickly scupper my way over there before I get seen. And I'll bring you back, guys. Hi, right, guys, I'm in. That wasn't bloody easy. The car's going past some wagons. That fence was a bit awkward to climb over, but I'm in. Just got to try and uh, work my way around now. Over to the far corner, which I need to go around here, over there, to the far corner. So here we go. Hey, here we go, guys. Make a run for it. Why? Well, a dash for it. Why? Of course, it's clear. No wagons. Bloody hell. Really nerve wracking this stealth camping work. Right. I'm heading to that corner there. That's where I'm trying to go. 
Oh, so they know. There's my car over there. Just over there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Right. Here we go. Let's go. Yeah, I'm out of breath. Nearly there, guys. Looks like a nice little corner here. I'll show you. Coming up to it though now. Oh, I'm buzzard, come on, buzzard. Yep. Wow, this looks good. Oh, it's gone over my ankle. Yeah, this looks a good area. This looks a good spot, this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Look at this. Check this out guys. Oh yeah. I'm so unfit. Hey, I've just got to check now. See if there's any flat spots to put the tent. I'll get back to you guys. Ah, uh, this is it. A little bit noisy. There's a factory just at the back of me here. Uh, this is still camping, ain't it? It's all about still camping. So it's still undetected. Yeah, uh, what I'm going to do is pitch up here. I brought my little camo net with me so I can uh, just make myself hidden from the from the road over there. You just see the cat. <laughs> so that's it. That's it guys, I'll get back to you when I've set my tent up. Tent set up. Finally, it's, it's, it's going it's going dark now. Uh, so I'll show you the tent set up. I'll put a camouflage net over the top, just so it can't be spotted so easily. So I'll show you the tent now. Here she is. I can't see you very well in the dark, unfortunately. Let me 
שיש, אני רוצה לעשות. כן, כל הכנסת יכול לצעוק. יש לי כספות. Well, as my setup goes, as me, me bed for the night, it's the Euro hike, uh, X, something XL, I can't remember which one now. I've got the uh, Trichology UL80 uh, Flex One Mat. Um, Trichology pillow and I've got a, a foam sleeping mat underneath with the reflective side up. Yeah, so that's my sleeping uh, arrangement for tonight. I don't think I'll be using the um, sleeping bag as a sleeping bag. I'll probably open it up and just use it as a quilt. So it's very warm tonight. Very warm. But that's it. That's my sleeping arrangement there you go guys well guys it's absolutely roasting very warm night what a palaver this is having a beer, desperado, oh. I won't lie, this is, up to now this has been a nightmare, give me a wild camp any day, I'm constantly watching for cars going past, switching my lights on, switching my lights off, Lock wagons. Can't even find a bottle on. Trying to open this bottle. I'm bloody struggling here because I forgot my bottle opener, so I'm trying to open it with a pair of pliers. Oh, my last one, no problem. Cheers guys, <sighs> lovely evening. There's a car going past, switch my lights off. Sorry guys, this is what it's like. Lights on, lights off, lights on, lights off. <sighs> yeah, I, th I think I prefer a wild camp. Up to now, I'm not, I'm not I don't feel relaxed. I don't feel settled, constantly watching wagons going past, cars going past. Switching my lights on, switching my lights off, so I can't be seen. I don't know what the sound is now, but... Uh, yeah, it must be end of shift because there's loads of cars now. 
leaving the factories, so it must be the end of the uh, afternoon shift, 2.10 shift. I'll just switch my lights off for the time being and I'll bring you back later guys. I'm going to, just waiting for the uh, shift change of the factory because all the cars going past. Then once the, all that stops, I'm going to nip to my car for some more beers. I'm going to get my uh, trail cameras as well, my wildlife trail camera. Set it, on, set it up on a tree over there. Let's see what I can capture. Don't think it'll be too much around here with it being an industrial area. But there might be something. Nice clear sky, lovely sky. Yeah, it's not bad, this, this little area. As far as stuff, camping goes. So, yep. I sit here, have a few beers, buyers, what the hell's buyers? Beers, and I'm gonna relax for a bit. So, get back to you later, fellas, guys and girls. Oh, well, guys, that's me, uh, going back to my car now to get some more beers. But, uh, trying to find my way. I'll have to turn this light off. I'll have to get back to you later, guys, because uh, with the light off the camera, I cannot see where I'm going. So I'm, I'm about to go to my car now, get some more beers, and get my wildlife trail camera to set it up for the night, see what, what I can capture. But I'll have to get back to you later because with the lights off the camera, I just, it's blinding me, I just can't see anything at all in front of me. Uh, more than likely it will break my neck, so I'll get back to you later guys. Just been for my beers to the car. My God, that, getting over that fence and that ground is so hard to walk on. It's up and down, up and down. Bumpy, bumpy. <laughs> So I'm back, back at my tent, got my beers. Hey right, guys, I've just been to my car, it's got some beers. Um, I'll tell you what, these, uh, these batteries don't last long like these GoPros. Anyway, I've got some beers, some more beers, and I was sat here now, just watching the world go by. It's a bit, not knowing what to do. <clears throat> Can't have a campfire because I'm still camping. Got to keep my eye on the road, keep my eye, make sure there's no cars go past because then I have to turn the lights off, camera lights and everything. So I'm constantly looking out for cars and or wagons. And there's a, just a, there's a factory there, and just got to be careful and I don't get spotted. Stealth camping. It's not for me. I don't think it's for me. It's not. Tell me what you think, guys. Do you prefer stealth camping? Do you prefer wild camping? Or are you on the fence with it? I. It's. Yeah, I said I would give it a go. I said I was keen on the idea, but I'd give it a go just out of curiosity, but yeah, it's not for me. Constantly looking out, switching my lights off, the car goes past. Yeah, I don't think I'll we'll be doing this again, not stealth camping. Anyway, tell me what you think, guys, in the comments. I'll give it a go. Now I know. <laughs> give it a go. Now I know. <clears throat> now I know it's not for me. So, 
that's it. What I'm going to do now is I'm uh, just going to sit here, finish my beers off. Got a couple of beers here. Finish them off. Set me me uh, wildlife camera up on the tree over there, and I've got some nuts here. Bits of nuts. What have you? I'll set them out and uh, see if I can attract any wildlife. I tell you what, I did see some today, just just over here in the field, this field here, is a couple of buzzards. That was nice to see. That was lovely. So, yeah, there was a car just come past there now. Anyway, it's gone now. <laughs> it's a bit late now. So, yeah. Nah, give me a wild camping any day. That's proper camping. This is uh, just not for me. Each to their own, eh? I suppose. Oh well, get back to you later. I'll set the uh, trail camera up, the wildlife trail camera. Uh, I'll put some put some bait out. I'll show you now. Yeah. Some nuts out and stuff, different bits of nuts. Hopefully, they'll attract some wildlife. I, d I doubt I'm getting in the walnuts like. <laughs> uh, anyway. Let's see what happens. So, fingers crossed. Captured a bit of wild, wildlife. Yeah, right. I want to go back now to my tent now and uh, the wagon going past. I can't see a bloody thing with this uh, camera light in my face. Oh well. Uh, chilling off some beers now. Okay, what time is it? Let me see what time it is. It is... 5 to 11. Is it a lot of time, yeah? Too early to go to bed. <laughs> So, I'll chill, have a few beers, and just watch the world go by. Wildlife camera's on. All they'll catch up to now is, is me walking about. Um, and then when I go to bed, fingers crossed I'll catch a, capture some wildlife. I have some badges around this area, because I do work around this area. They have some badges, maybe, and the odd fox. So, let's see what happens. <sighs> Hi, guys. I'm going to lie down, just in the uh, vestibule area of my tent. Watching a bit of a uh, plot outdoors. Love watching these guys, absolutely brilliant. Little Schmick and Blot himself. Love it. They, they, they do a lot of self jumping. Oh, oh yes, Mandingos! Got these lovely salt and pepper chicken loaded fries. Oh my god, how good do them smell? They do, don't they, Mick? Lovely pizza. And that's what I'm going to get stuck into first, guys. The pizza. Mm. 
Good ah. watching you guys. Oh my god. No star cake waste. And I have had some good meals, you know. I've had some I've had some surprises. I've had some <coughs> I've had some meals a lot better than I thought they were gonna be. But this place has come highly recommended. And I tell you what, everyone who has told me how good slice is, is spot on. Because this is unbelievable. I tell you what, uh, guys, this thermosel I've got, wow. it's absolutely been brilliant. When I got here, I was plagued like with bloody uh, mozzies. <sighs> Put that on, 30 minutes yeah, later, something there. like that. It didn't ever bother me, it was all gone. The odd, the odd one now and then. What a difference that uh, thermosol makes. It, I couldn't recommend it enough. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And a can of iron brew made from girders. Iron brew made from girders. Oh, this is absolute top quality. Okay guys, uh, <coughs> time to say good, good night, feeling pretty tired, pretty bored to be honest with you, it's just like I said, like I said earlier in my video, uh, stealth, camp, stealth camping is not for me, it's, I don't know, I feel as though I'm confined to my tent. Um, Nah, definitely won't be doing this again. Anyway, I'm settling down for the night. Uh, it's, it's pretty shit. It's gonna be a pretty rubbish video. Uh, a short video. Like I said, it was just uh, just a bit of a trial. See how see what stealth camera was all about and. I know, I know a lot of people like it, but uh, this person doesn't like it, i.e. me. Um, nah, it's not for me. So, I'm going to sign off for the night. See you guys in the morning. Um, yeah, that's it. That's it, guys and girls. Good night. See you tomorrow. Money, folks. Oh yeah. Wow, what a sleep that was. Oh, slept like a baby. Fantastic. Oh, in fact, so comfortable. I don't want to get up. I suppose I'll have to. Let's see what the weather's like outside, what the morning's like. Oh, it's not bad, a little bit overcast. Get a coffee. Get back to breakfast. Okay. 
yaşlı oldu. <gülüyor> Talk to you later, folks. There's a guy just pulled up near me, man. Well, it's turning round, actually. That's all I need because I want to pack up. Shit. I think I've probably been spotted. Shit, no, that guy's gonna be there. <sighs> Don't think I'll bother with a breakfast this morning. I'll just get this coffee. Wait till this car goes and then pack up my kit and then, then go. Get a binoculars. I think it's just one person on his own. Oh, there he is. I think it's just one person on their own. So I'll be up with this coffee and then start packing up. Constantly on edge with this with this stealth camping lark. Have I been spotted? Have I not been spotted? Yeah, it's just part of the just the, the back of my car. Nobody's even getting out, so they're not going for a walk or anything. Shit, I hope they're not workers for this, this development, whatever's going on here. Yeah, there's still the... No movements as well, nobody getting out of the car, which uh, leads me to believe, or to think, leads me to think that I might have been reported and they're waiting for someone else. Hopefully, not the police. I might have been spotted and reported. Sorry for the uh, shaky. Uh, camera and just using my phone at the moment still there uh, as you can see in the distance you see it's just just the my car is there at the front this other car is at the back Like I said, I don't want to move until this guy's gone. I don't know if they're watching me or what. Well, nobody's, like I said, nobody's getting out the car. So they're not going for a walk. I just wonder if I've been reported. Well, I'll just hang fire. Hopefully this car will go soon.
the uh, the car's still here after about an hour it's still here it's been a wagging pulled up since that's been and gone I don't know what he's doing, he's just sat there in the car, whoever it is, not moved, not budged. Not got out of the car or nothing. It's like I'm, I feel like I'm being watched. I don't know if you can see guys on this, uh, with this camera, he's still there. That bear still there. And I looked at my binoculars, all right, it was just one person in the car. And all right, they just pack up, pack it in on, and just go off here and walk. And what to do? I've packed some of my stuff away. I know I've got a camo on that's on my, uh, my tent, but there's nothing at the front to hide me. So. I've got a feeling I've been spotted. Anyway guys, I'll catch you later. I'm gonna try to pack some more kits away. Anyway folks, I've had my coffee. I'm gonna start packing away slowly. Uh, my sleeping bag, my sleeping kit and stuff. And I'll get back to you soon. Hi guys, that's me all packed away now. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'll be doing another stealth camp. It's just not for me. I prefer the wild camping. Uh, but, as with uh, wild camping rules, as regards as leave no trace, the same rule applies with stealth camping. As you can see, I've left nothing but a trace. Just a bit of flattened grass, which will come back. Taking my rubbish home with me. That's my bag of rubbish. Left absolutely no trace. So guys, until next time, which will be a wild camp, will be a stealth camp.